صباح بروح الحياة تعطر وفاح أريج الزهور وأبهر صباح كطلات طفل وأطهر تغنى بسعاد وحب وأكثر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله and welcome to Dean at Doom We spoke before in the program about the situation in Turkey and the duties of the Muslim Ummah to support the people of Turkey as the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم said المؤمنون كالجسد the believers are like one body إذا اشتكى منه عضو تداعى له سائر الجسد بالسهر والحمى when there is an organ in the body that is uh, suffering, then the whole body is at emergency to support that organ. Now Turkey is in need of our support. And so the whole ummah is su- supposed to, he- to help Turkey, like how Turkey also used to help uh, uh, other parts of the Muslim world uh, through their uh, support and generous donations, etc. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy for the people of Turkey, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to use us to help and to support the people of Turkey. Allahumma ameen. Joining me via Zoom, the ambassador of Turkey in South Africa. Let's welcome her, inshallah, to our show. Assalamu alaikum, uh, Madam Ambassador. Welcome, uh, Madam Ambassador. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Alhamdulillah. All praises to Allah. I just want to, uh, in the beginning, I to share our condolences with, uh, with, with yourself and with uh, the people of Turkey as well. And uh, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy for you and to cure all the, the injured people and to have mercy on all those people who passed away from your nation. In the beginning, just put us in the picture and uh, give us some information about the situation currently in Turkey and how the South African people can help in that. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to reach out to the South African public. Um, I wanted to uh, first give you a few uh, statistics, a few numbers. The numbers are changing all the time. Uh, Let me give you some information from the earthquake zone, if I may. Sure, sure. Bismillah. Uh, So the numbers uh, keep uh, rising uh, uh, by the minutes, but uh, it's it's a bit more than the death toll is more than 21,000 mm-hmm. right now. The number of people who have been rescued from the rubble, from the demolished buildings, is more than 80,000, uh, thanks to the hundreds of thousands of uh, search and rescue teams on the ground, both from Turkey and all the other foreign countries. And so far, uh, the injured, injured, the number of injured right now has risen to 92,000. And the, the teams that have come, the people that have come as search and rescue teams from foreign countries is close to 9,000. So we are talking about uh, 10 cities, a huge area, double the size of Holland or the size of Liberia. We are talking about a population of 15 million people and the the directly affected people in those cities is 3.5 million. Mm -hmm. So any country who could survive 7.6 and then, uh, sorry, 7.7 and then 7.6 size earthquakes, nine hours uh, apart, uh, could not deal with this much, this uh, wide a region. Uh, Turkey has been on, uh, is on earthquake zone, on an earthquake zone, and uh, a few fault lines, as you know. But this was a big fault line that was close to the surface. So the damage is quite big and the, uh, the damage is uh, spread apart and more than, uh, how much was it, 1,500 um, aftershocks have been recorded. They are still going on. Uh, more than 6,000, close to 7,000 buildings in the region are demolished. So that means with the, uh, with the aftershocks and everything, 
uh, people cannot get back into their houses, into their buildings, even if they survive. Some cities in the region have been erased from the map, unfortunately. There are no hospitals. So what we are doing as the Turkish embassy is trying to coordinate all the relief efforts coming from South Africa. All our embassies are doing that around the world right now. More than 250 embassies around the world. And we are very happy to receive such a quick and such a big amount of assistance, especially from the Muslim community in South Africa. It's very touching. The, uh, right now, I think it's what is it? More than five days have passed. And right now, um, I have to say, the, the, the list of needs are changing. And I would like to uh, give information about the current uh, urgent, most urgent needed materials. Uh, let me first tell you that um, during the first 72 hours after an earthquake, which is very critical, search and rescue teams should be on the ground. That's why the first moment uh, Turkey made an international appeal for emergency aid, which is search and rescue teams. More than 90 countries around the world have offered help. There are, as I said, uh, the latest numbers is like close to uh, 200,000 on the ground people who are search and rescue teams. Unfortunately, we are past the 72 hours deadline, which means um, hope is getting less, even though there are lots of miracles still. Right now, what we are announcing is uh, that there, are, there is no need, no more any need for search and rescue teams. The medical doctors are in place. Uh, no more need for medical personnel from uh, foreign countries. What is needed more is medical devices, medicine. Um, you know, the, that part is important. We are announcing every single day from our social media accounts as the embassy and from our internet uh, page, the, the current needs. So apart from that, right now, as of this morning, what is mostly needed, I would like to uh, also announce this, uh, what is mostly re needed in the earthquake zone is gas generators. Why? Because there's no electricity. It's minus degrees, minus six. And sleeping bags are needed. Uh, winter tents, winter and fire resistant uh, tents are needed. Mobile toilets and baths are needed. So these items we have been announcing. We are very grateful for the South African uh, sites, both the government and NGOs who have uh, come into the picture very fast. Uh, first, uh, certain NGOs went as search and rescue teams and medical doctors. For instance, Gift of the Givers, Hope SA, and uh, Alim Dat. Quite a few Muslim NGOs are on the ground with their teams. Then, uh, uh, pharmaceutical companies and the South African Department of Health organized a, a list of medicine uh, to be delivered to Turkey. Then, um, right now, as of yes, uh, starting from yesterday, we have been delivering tents, blankets, sleeping bags uh, to the region. How are we doing this? Is through Turkish Airlines. Turkish Airlines uh, is carrying everyone who wants to help uh, free of charge, especially the search and rescue team and all the cargo. We have designated uh, don uh, collection points for people who want to donate these items. We no longer need winter clothes. There's no need for that. 
and all items need to be new and there are collection points in Cape Town, Pretoria, Johannesburg and Durban. The addresses of those collection points are all announced again on our Twitter and Facebook account and internet page. I would really urge everyone to check those accounts because these are our only channels of uh, really announcing the changing need all the time. Uh, also, the right now, I have to say the the very, very, uh, the biggest need I have to say is winter tents. We know in South Africa, winter tents are not produced that much. They are important because of the weather, but still, um, even in small amounts, because the need is so huge, even if in small amounts, certain co uh, companies could come into the picture, we would be very grateful. Um, I also need to uh, give information about donations. Uh, South African public has organized itself so well, different segments of society, uh, AFCAF SA, Muslim Judicial Council, all those Muslim NGOs, first of all. Uh, secondly, uh, charity organizations, they have started their campaigns, TV pledge lines, campaigns, all of that stuff just to collect money and to make donations. So that's why we have been uh, announcing the bank account numbers of AFAT. Uh, those dollar uh, in dollars and euros, AFAT is the name of the organization uh, that is coordinating all relief efforts in Turkey. It is the National uh, Disaster Management Authority of Turkey. In addition to that, we have opened a local bank account and we have announced that also those people who want to donate uh, money uh, can uh, donate it uh, to transfer it to that bank account that we have organized and then uh, all the money collected will go to AFAD. I just wanted to um, express at this point again uh, the really fast and good response of, the, uh, of South Africa, even though it's not one of the neighboring countries. As you know, because of time restraints, we are racing against time. Because of the time restraints, uh, the neighboring countries, of course, uh, pitched in and they sent uh, teams and everything. But South Africa, from so far away, has been uh, acting with solidarity and uh, we are grateful to President Ramaphosa for uh, making a press statement uh, during the first hours of the devastation. De devastation, And uh, also him acknowledging it and mentioning it in his sauna speech. We are grateful for the support of Zirko in all our efforts. And uh, this is all I can say, but if you want, I can also give you the addresses of the collection points in South Africa for the donation of the materials I mentioned. Mm -hmm. thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Ambassador, for uh, this information and this, st this statement as well. We ask the Almighty to make it easy for you and to facilitate for the people of Turkey. And inshallah, you will find uh, South African people and the government as well in support of Turkey, as Turkey always in support of other countries. Thank you very much for joining us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have mercy on the people of Turkey. Allahumma ameen. Have a wonderful day. Shukran. Right. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Alaikum salam. All right. Uh, with that, we came uh, to the end of uh, this uh, short interview with, uh, with the ambassador of uh, Turkey. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us. Uh, to be always in, 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 the, in the help of other people. Can Allah fi awni al abdi, madam al abdu fi awni akhi, as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, Allah will be in your aid and support as you are always in the aid and support of others. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept Allah ameen ya rabbil alameen. All right, we, uh, we uh, came to the end of our uh, program uh, for today. Jazakumullah khayran for watching. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik, nashadu an la ilaha illa ant, nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. 
صباح بروح الحياة تعطر وفاح أريج الزهور وأبهر صباح كطلات طفل وأطهر تغنى بسعاد وحب وأكثر